by the way, feel free if you're first time passing through and you're not accustomed to me. Uh, I don't care if you make up a name uh, so that I don't have to read the entire Instagram uh, name that you got there. Feel free to put in a name so that uh, we can uh, have a conversation with you. But feel free to join in. Shay Shay, nice to see you and others that, that are joining in. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Solana Photography, jo Joel's as well. Again, if I say your name wrong, feel free to put in a, a name or a fake name. Or we just may come up with a name for you like uh, like Nita just did for Didi. Go ahead. Thank you for having me along. I am excited about about our venture. You're so trusting to me, but uh, I really uh, enjoyed the post that you had on your page, the IG post, in regards to. Wait, wait, hold on a second. You got it. It's right behind me. <laughs> uh, so people were asking that, even though I said the date that you were going to come back, they totally forgot. <laughs> I kept nagging. But what is that lady coming that? She was so bad, and that night Larry, she was so encouraging. <laughs> And I went like, well, what am I, top liver? I'm on the show too, you know. So most of the time, then we can start taking on other people's. I, I like what you just said, emotions and opinions, and and just the way they saw us before. As when we start to separate, ooh, well, wait a minute, that is this person's emotion. I don't have to own that. And actually, literally, just just stopping the conversation and saying. That is your feeling and emotion, and I am not responsible for it. I understand that you don't understand, but I'm not getting in your feelings and emotions. And that is confusing to people, but it is a great segue that's non-confrontational. It is non-accusatory. It is just stating a simple fact. Those are yours, and you get to keep them. But I do not have to jump in the mud puddle of them. Once you get a taste, you battle for those boundaries. You battle to have a teeny taste of self work. Once you get over that, you are like, oh, I kind of like that. I actually yeah. am a good person. Yeah, there are actually part, people yeah. out there like Paxton yeah. who see my value. Yeah. I don't need this. This um, I, I don't a big drama word, but it, it's drama. Right. And right. that is not what any of us need to be held. So we're Paxton is powerful. What? Oh, I'm today. Thank okay. you, my friend. Leave no contact. Go, go. I got to do this. So what is that like for you? Well, black do they begin to be chameleons and try to find a way to get back into you? Do they start doing this kind of narcissistic dance to try to see if I'm a little different to you now so we can go back to the way it used to be? What you got? Yes, for a while, right? Okay. Until you get to the point where you you become as lack of a better word, you're holding your boundaries so strongly that you become toxic to them. And the interesting thing is, is that true, what I have learned, my experience, and, and I have no documentation to, you know, I'm not going to have sites and kind of like research, study and college evidence. Hey, hey this is, this is street therapy. Go ahead. You don't need document. This, this, this is, is this, 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 this is ghetto okay, therapy on my platforms and all my experience. Yes. yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at the paper on the wall. I know what I'm dealing with. No. Go ahead. Yes. This is, um, what I have experienced time and time again over a course of years of breaking free is that as soon as I set my heart down and I do not allow them to manipulate or walk over me or push on that, they may even walk out of the room in that moment telling me how toxic I am. Well, really, I think that the, the first priority, because from when I first posted that, uh, I believe my answer in there, what will you battle for was boundaries. I, I have boundaries. And what I've learned is that when you start implementing boundaries, you have no peace. <laughs> because people only knew you before the boundaries. It is oh. just learn boundaries. And so really the first thing that you be, need to help people do is just encourage them to really begin listening to themselves and identify one need. Start with one need okay. and work on that one need because when you get through that one need then another one is going to pop up and so that's how mine has shifted from boundaries i would battle the boundaries because a lifetime of people pleasing nobody heard my boundary do you know the emotion wheel is like this big and it has a billion emotions on yeah. it. Well, you, by the way it is in my back pocket to do a show with you on the emotion <laughs> wheel i just aired it right now to everybody i was going to tell you private but there it is i don't <laughs> think there's no private yeah it's right, right out, right out, out there. There. That's, yeah. that's why i want you back on the show <laughs> That's the way I am. Love it. Let's do it all though. That's good. But uh, uh, real quick, I just wanted to tell you, um, you got a hello from Joel's. I hope I said that right. Julie. Uh, is that no, okay. Julie. Julie. Okay, thank Five you. Five double dot theory. I hope to okay. visit with you again. Uh, okay, we'll see you again. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. But what you're saying is very important. I just want to say this. 